What's going on, MGTOWN? What's going on, Red Pill? Back at you with another video. I'd like to talk on a topic in regards of taking out a woman without the expectation of sex. Some weekends ago, when John Wick 3 came out in the theaters, I didn't want to go alone, right? So, you know, I, um, I offered to take her and said to her that I keep it at a friendship level. I took her to the theater with me and we kept it as that. We talked a little bit and she told me a whole bunch of shit about what she went through in her life as a young girl. It was just about enough to where I said, well, it's a good thing I didn't have any expectations from this little date. There was definitely no sex appeal, especially after what she told me about herself. And, uh, you know, but other than that, she was good enough company to be at the theaters with me. I guess from that night, she liked that I wasn't, you know, pushing on the whole sex thing, right? So she asked to see me again for the next weekend. And I went along with it. And uh, she made it simple by coming to my area and uh, chill at the beach. We had a dinner before she went home. Throughout the whole time, well, most of the time, I'm talking with this chick, it was mainly through text. And I'm like, you know what? If I wanted something more with her, I, I would rather talk to her on the phone. I could see, you know, being that she was doing more texting than anything. I kind of got the hint that she was liking me spending money on her. As we supposed to meet today, well, I decided to block her. I was like, yeah, you know, it's enough. It's, it's all good. I'm about done. You know, I've been single for a couple months. As far as she goes, she could get ahead and bounce with the next cat. I mean, I'm pretty much good. Besides that, I mean, there's really no sex appeal. I mean, she was on that bullshit about, you know, I'd rather take my time, you know, get to know that person, and when I'm ready to have sex, you know, then I'll give it up. You know, all that sounds to me is dumbass broad. It's not like, you know, she was harassed recently to where it should make her feel to not have sex. It's all because this broad went through enough shit in the past. She had her bad boys. Yeah, she spoke to me about that too. I mean, I don't see myself to even push up on her for sex. What really did it for me to block her was that yeah, see, she was just getting comfortable with me spending money. And I know that's what would happen if I was to go see her today. If you go meet up, you know, we go sit around some weird talk and this, that, and the other. And, uh, it's really not too much to talk about. I mean, because uh, the way she carries herself and what she went through and, you know, it's like, there's no sex appeal. Anyways, guys, I mean, so that was that. I went ahead and blocked her. This is a good idea for you Red Pill men to learn and not take these women seriously or even trust any of them until that they could be proven to be trustworthy. All right? As for you men in MGTOW, you definitely know better. So, you stay MGTOW.